What's everyone? This is Hayden Adams with a designer who codes. I was looking at this recent nav bar. That's the default with bootstrap and especially with one and two, three words that are just one word a piece. I thought about how could I maximize the mobile menu? And I thought, you know what? Let's create a two column mobile menu. So what happens is if I were to move this to a mobile design, when I drop this down, what I get are two columns of information for my navigation versus just one. Now, just to double check this one more time, let's take a look and make sure we pull this out a little bit further and we'll pull this one out just a little bit further. If we look at our mobile design, it still fits fine in every single version of a phone that we can test inside of Chrome. So let's go ahead and build our two column mobile menu. All right, so I have the bootstrap template right here with just hello world for the title in the H1. So let's go actually get started in building this navigation. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go below the body and it's just above the H1. I'll start right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a nav tag. So I'm gonna say nav class equals nav bar and then nav bar expand and then medium. So everything medium and below it's gonna expand to. And after that, I'm gonna add a background so we can see where it is on the screen. And we'll say nav bar light and BG light. And we'll open and close that nav. Don't forget to do that. When I save it, actually let's go right here. There's a bit of a gray area above hello world, which is where the nav is gonna go. After that, I'm gonna create a, in this case, a container fluid since I'm going full width in this design. So I'll say div class equals container fluid. Now for your design, you might want to use container for your design. This is just because I'm not going to be using anything that's specific to hold this in. It's going to open and close with a fluid design of the container. After that, I'll add the A class nav bar and then add the brand. If we have a logo right here, we'll go inside this A tag href we're going to use is a pound sign and we'll say nav bar for the nav bar after that we have to add our toggler in so we're going to say button i'm going to open and close this and come back to the button because i'm really good at making a mistake of missing that open and that close button so inside this button is going to add a couple things the first i'm going to say is class equals nav bar toggler and after this one the type is going to be a button and after the type we'll say data bs i always laugh like a fifth grader for the bs word but it is just bootstrap and toggle equals collapse collapse there we go after the data bs toggle we're going to do data bs target no laughing on the bs on that one and we'll say nav bar nav with a capital N for the nav on the second part. The ARIA controls are going to be nav bar nav. The ARIA expanded is going to be false, not gonna be expanded by default. And ARIA label equals the toggle navigation. Awesome, we have that part set up. Now inside the button, let's move this up a little bit. What I want inside those two button tags is the span class and then equal to the nav bar toggler icon to give it its actual design and appearance. Perfect, we'll open and close the span tag to keep it open. What's gonna happen is it's gonna show up right there on the right hand side. If I click on it, there's nothing to expand the content with because there's no navigation yet. We have our famous nav bar word, which is where we're gonna click on if we were to go back to our logo design inside of this project. After the button, I'm gonna make some space down below. I'm gonna type in div, not divvy, but div class equals collapse. I always make a mistake on those two L's in this project for some reason. We'll say nav bar dash collapse and we're gonna have to give it an id to make the toggler work so we'll say id equals nav bar nav making sure in this case i used a capital n for this design so make sure if you're following mine exactly the same way 
make sure you use the capital N right here as well. Perfect. We have our collapse area for our nav bar collapse. Now I actually want to create the ULLI that's going to go inside the nav bar. So we'll say UL. And inside the UL, it's always making sure we type that close with that open. A lot of times if we don't do it at the first part, it can really mess everything up. All right, UL class equals navbar dash nav. And here's where it gets to be fun. Because I wanna create a two column system, I'm gonna bring in the power of flex in this design. So I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna say flex dash row and then flex dash wrap. I'll show you in a second why I use the wrap part. After that, I'm gonna add a bit of padding at the top with the two inside of the bootstrap spacing. And I'm gonna say padding y dash md equals zero when it goes back to the medium and bigger size. And for also my design, I am gonna say text center. So all of the type sits in the middle of each column. Perfect. Now that I have the UL all set to go, let's add an LI. Let's open and close. And inside the LI, I'm gonna say class equals nav dash item. And here's where the magic really happens. Because Bootstrap uses a 12 column design, if I want two columns, that's 12 divided by two or six, which means I'm gonna type in call dash six I'm gonna say call dash MD auto when it moves to the medium size. Now that I have the LI in place, I can add the A or the link. A, I'm gonna say is class equals nav link. In this case, for the first one, I'm gonna say aria current, current, <laughs> aria current page. There we go current equals page, I'm gonna say href, and we're gonna add just a pound sign for right now, and it'll be our home button. Actually, we'll call it about, what the heck, let's make it some cool stuff here. Now that we have about going on here, let's take a look and see how it looks. Well, we have the word about, and if you think about it, it's halfway across is the button, and the other column's waiting for more information. So we can duplicate this, Let's say about, let's call this one features. We can take off the word aria current and we can duplicate features by just copying and pasting. Let's call this one portfolio. And the last one we're gonna add is a pricing page. So we'll just say pricing for this. Now the power is these call sixes will be 50% of the column and the flex wrap means it's gonna wrap down below. So if I close this, just refresh the page. Now when I see it again, oh, it helps if I save my index page. That could be great. Let's do that one more time, refresh the page. Now what we get are two column designs in our mobile design, allowing for more space. And especially because if I have a tall design, I wanna maximize the amount of space I have at the top and the two column gets me there.